everybody it's Ray um today is February the 1st 2023 said the date okay um a lot of ums already this is my gonna be my new Friday video uh because I don't have nothing to open I've been good I haven't bought anything and it's kind of sad <laughs> I am getting closer to my um, spinning wheel goal, but I've kind of, uh, not it's not a dilemma, but it's, what should I do? Because I have enough now to buy the EEW6, and I'm kind of leaning towards getting that now, just so I can have a bigger bobbin, um, but... We'll go into okay. We'll go into that later. I did write out a thing so I'm not like going um um all the time. <laughs> so let's see. So we're gonna I'm gonna divide it up into sections. So in my crocheting, I have been working on and it's almost done. So I'm totally checking this off my January list because I'm going to finish it today for sure. This is my Bella blanket and it is humongous. And I'm working on the border right now. It looks super good together. Um, I got the crystal cake that I'm using and two big, huge uh, skeins of the Barcelona in the color Amethyst from uh, Bella's Crochet Skift. And she sent it to me, she was so sweet. She sent it to me because my um, hobby, not hobby, Hobie uh, advent calendar, it sucked. I was not pleased with it, I could not, hide the disappointment on my face and she <laughs> so she was like i'm gonna send you something to make it better and she did she totally made it better because this yarn was awesome um i started working with it with the idea that i was gonna make a blanket and call it my bella blanket and i finished the two skeins of the barcelona and i needed more and i went to go look for it and i couldn't find it and it's because they changed the name to Impeccable. And this is in the color Amethyst. And what they did was they took the Barcelona, which was like 469 yards, something like that. And they made it smaller and basically charged you the same amount of money. So I ended up buying 10 skeins of that. Victor, chill out. And so this thing is humongous. I'm gonna have to insert a picture. Um, here, to take this. Of it because I cannot hold it up. It is too big. So I have been doing that. Pick that up off the floor, babe. And then I have been working on, um, I have a collaboration. I think that's the right word for it, I don't know. Me and Bella, from Bella's Crochet Gifts again, are working on the Feathered Wing Shawl. And this is how much I have gotten done so far. 21 rows for um, January. It is a 150 page pattern. Uh, I can't remember who it's by, I'll link it down below. Victor, you're moving my table. Um, but yeah, we're not going to stress like about it. So it's like a year long project we're doing, uh, which is nice. Um, and I really like how it's turning out. It's using that, um, I put it over there and I didn't even show the on that I was using. <laughs> I'm new to this. I'm sorry. I'll try and get better. It's by, uh, Loops and Threads Facets. You guys have seen it. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. Of course, I love the colors. It's in the color Juniper. 
um and i know i have enough to finish this project with it and i think it's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous and then i am going to be making a i don't i haven't decided if it's gonna be a poncho or a sweater yet um for my brother's girlfriend and um I know she likes the color gray because Gideon got up in her face and asked her, <laughs> what's your favorite color? So I'm thinking about doing it in a Cotton King. I have one that's like a gray, um, radiant colored where it goes. So I think I'm going to do it in that. I'm not a hundred percent sure because you guys know I'm indecisive, but I'm pretty sure. So that's on my plans for um, February. So in knitting, what have I been doing in knitting? I have been working on this awesome sock, sock pattern. I'm pattern testing for um, Bears, uh, Critters Crochet, it's Brenda Bear, that's what I call her. Uh, I'll link her channel down below. I'll link everybody's channel that I talk about below. Um, but she made these amazing, amazing socks. And, um, I will try and put the thing for her video. She just posted one today that I just saw. And her socks are amazing. So I'm super excited. So I'm not too far into it. Um, it's about... A little over four inches long so far but that's what I have um, I'm not gonna go into the stitches or anything because it's not my pattern and I'm just testing it for and it's very fun to work with um, I keep it out in the living room and it's like I work a few rows on this and then I can spin <laughs> and then I go into my bedroom and my Bella blankets in my bedroom because that blanket is huge. So, I like bounce around like a crazy person. Because if you guys don't know yet, I'm kind of crazy. That's okay. I accept it. Admitting the problem is half the, <laughs> the steps, right? I don't know. Anyway, so that's my knitting. Um, she's done an amazing job. Her socks look so awesome. She's so talented. Um... Everybody on here is very talented. So, we've come to my favorite thing to talk about lately. Spinning. Spin with us. Spin with us. Spin with us. Zombie. Don't shake your head at me. She's shaking her head at me. She made me a sticker. It looks super cute. I've been putting it in a lot of my spinning things. It's like the zombie. Yeah. Okay, so. Where is it? I think it's in this, right? I have so many project bags. Project bags. Bye, Bridget. I love them. This one's really pretty inside. Oh, I forgot to talk about this horrible thing. I always forget about it. I have not worked on this. So we're jumping back to crocheting. I told you. I'll get better, I swear. It's this hideous thing. Don't give me that look. <laughs> This is going to be a cardigan or sweater for my daughter. Someday. Huh? Is it someday? Someday. It's hard to work on pink, people. It's so hard. She said, especially when you're not working on it. Yeah, I haven't been. I started this last year sometime. Victor. This is in the um, Lion brand. Could you pet him? Ice cream divination. I think it's in the color Shirley Temple. I'm not sure. But it's just a granny square. It's nothing special. It should be done. It should have already been done. Let's face it. I could have got it done in a week. But I didn't because it's pink. Don't mom me. <laughs> it's like mom. Okay, so spin back to spinning. The best thing to talk about. I completely spun up everything I got in January's um, Paradise Fibers. And uh, I don't have the 
BFO because you saw the video. I made it into a cowl for my grandma and I was so happy. She took it to church with her and that means she was showing it off. And I'm like, yay, she liked it. She loved it. She said it was super soft and it kept her neck warm all day. Um, she did take it off the day that I gave it to her. So I was very pleased that she liked it. Stop. My house is a madhouse. This is probably why I'm crazy. Anyways, so this was the main stuff that came with it. You got like four ounces of each. And Gypsy, go get the paperwork. Mm -hmm. The paperwork out of the mouth. Okay, she got me the paperwork. Because I cannot remember the names of these. And uh, honestly, I cannot say them either. Um, so the white was the... I don't know if you can see that. Spelled B-E-R-G-S-H-A-F. And it was the white. That one was very fluffy kind of to spin with. Um, it was very poofy. It spun easily and everything. It like drafted really good. But um, I don't know. It's kind of like a cloud spin. It, it was very soft when you're drafting it. But like together it's kind of like... It's like a, it's a soft wool, but it's, it's definitely wool. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a little scratchy, I guess, but not too bad. Um, the other one, the, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. Uh, it's spelled Z-W-A-R-T-B-L-E-S. And I think the nickname for that one was called Black Blaze, which I can say Black Blaze. <laughs> um, that one spun completely different. It was very thick and long. It was just like hair. And actually, it's like the exact color of my hair, too. So it was kind of fun. Um, but it liked to pull all of the other fibers along with it very fast. So controlling uh, the weight that I wanted to put in was a little bit harder with that. Um, let me see if I can find my first one that I spun up. You can definitely tell because it looks a little chewed up. Where did it go? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gypsy, will you get him something to eat, honey? Yeah, just put it down and go in the microwave. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't find it. I don't know where it went to. I can find it right here. <laughs> um, I don't know where that one went to. It disappeared. It didn't want to show itself. But I did have one that looked very chewed up um because i was every single fiber i've worked with so far feels differently spins differently drafts differently it's very fun and exciting to get a new fiber and be like hmm i wonder how this is gonna work up it's like a dance almost with you know spinning i i'm really really enjoying it um i love listen to apocalypta uh, when I spin, it's, uh, kind of like a heavy metal classical music, <laughs> which I love. I'm such a fan of that. Um, any kind of, I love music, but my favorite is like classical music with like the, um, cellos and the violins and the pianos. And then you get the rock part of it with the guitars and the drums and it gets very exciting um but yeah I don't know what I'm gonna make with this yet um I'm leaning towards a basket um because I think I can 
after I crochet it together, I think I can throw it in the washer and dryer and felt it. Um, so I think that's my plan as of right now. Um, yeah. And what else was I going to say? I don't know. Uh, so that was my Paradise Fibers. I'm super excited to get February's. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. So I have the EW Nano, which my awesome, very thankful for, loving husband uh, got me on a Kickstarter. And I love it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. It's fun. It's little. Um... I'm planning on taking it with me everywhere. I have to get a case for it, though, because the box it's in is... <laughs> it's been opened a thousand times, probably. Not exaggerating. And it shows. The box is starting to crumple a little and look a little damaged. So... But the problem is... The only problem I really have with it is the bobbin size is so small. Like... They're tiny. They're super, super tiny. So, anybody who I've been talking to, when I tell them that I like the Nano, I always tell them, if you can't afford it, get the EEW6. Because the bobbins to that are like four times the size of this. And with the small bobbins, you can only create so much yarn. So, that's why I have like... A billion of these tiny hanks not billion that's an exaggeration but you know a whole bunch of them let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen like there's only 16 yards in this one you know and I could have kept spinning if I had bigger bobbins um let's see three six nine twelve fifteen 18, 20 yards on this. And like, you know, it's just small mini hanks, which I'll use. But I eventually want to spin friend yarn. And I don't want to be sending them a whole bunch of tiny hanks because it's not cool to have, you know, tons of ties in your yarn and stuff. And you need enough to do a project. But yeah, anyways. Oh, so this one looks chewed up. Um, this was my avocado toast. I showed it. I was trying to find um, this kit I had got. It was a drop spindle kit like two years ago. And it came with, hey, hey, calm down. It had came with alpaca. I think, I think that's what it was. Some alpaca fiber to drop spindle. Um... And I was looking for this fiber because I sent uh, the drop spindle to Mel from Lothalia's Little Hook with Melanie. I think that's her name. Her channel name. I know her name. Her name is Mel. But um, I sent that to her. And I was trying to send this fiber with it, but I couldn't find it. And of course, like two days after I mailed it off, it magically appeared out of thin air. So... Um, I sent her some other fiber that I, um, was practicing on too with, but, uh, anyways, I had, so I had this fiber and I'm like, I need to spin it because it's here. <laughs> um, and it had this weird, oh, where is it? I had this weird stuff that came with the kit. Oh, here it is. Um, I had like tiny braids of uh, fiber. And then it had this stuff. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's very, uh, very curly and it's very short. Like all the fibers are extremely short. So they don't, I can't really spin it well. Um, so, I was spinning this yellow, and I don't like the color yellow. Um, I like it a little bit more than pink, <laughs> but not by much. So I was spinning it, and so I was like, hmm, I wonder if I grabbed some of those and just combined it in. 
and I got some cool texture going and it changed it to some color. I was like, it kind of reminds me of avocado toast. So that's what I called it. Um, but you can definitely tell this was not a very good spin. Um, it is, it is chewed up like super chewed up. So after this, I went to the others that I had that were in that and it was just the, um, they had a blue, they had like a goldy color and a red fiber. And so I spun that up and this is the first time I did like a three ply, which was fun to do. I really like plying yarn. Um, and it came out like that and it reminds me of like the fruit stripes, you know, with the zebra on it gum. Victor. You know, the kind you, like, put in your mouth for, like, a minute and chew it, and, like, there's no flavor. But, yeah, this one came out a lot better. And even though I don't like the colors, it kind of looks cool. So, there was that. And I ran out of fiber. I have, well, I have the spray that my mom had gotten me for my birthday last year left. So pretty. Malabrego, um, Aguas is the color. It's greens and blues and it's gorgeous. But I really don't want to use it until I get bigger bobbins so I don't have to cut it. Um, that is my goal. <laughs> bigger bobbins. That's why I'm leaning towards getting the EEW6 now instead of waiting until I get my traditional wheel. Gideon. Calm down. He just woke up. So he is like going. He'll be going all day long until like 6 o'clock in the morning when he finally passes out and finally lets me sleep. Oh, I found it. it. Didn't look hard enough. It was behind some other stuff. See how it looks chewed kind of in areas? That's what I call it. I think it's just overspun is what everybody else calls it. But it gives it like this chewed up look and then it looked better after I got used to the fiber so so then like I said I ran out of all the fiber I have except for that one and I don't want to use that yet so I started working on that uh, stuff I got from Hobby Lobby which is like acrylic 12% um, wool I think some polyester or something. It's super soft, but I mean, I got it on clearance for like five bucks or something. So it's not a bad price, but I don't like spinning it. Like it's okay, but it is not my favorite thing to spin. Um, it doesn't feel as good as wool and, or the alpaca it doesn't go as nicely Gideon can you reach down and grab that for mama please so that is my spinning um I'm super excited to get my next paradise okay. fibers and the pencil baby subscription because I really want to continue spinning um let's see uh, I'm trying to read my things. <laughs> I put notes. I swear I did. Um, so I am new to spinning, as you guys know, and I do not know technical terms or anything else. Um, that's why I love watching uh, Spring, the fiber enthusiast. She's super, you know, into. She's actually where I saw the EE -E Nano. For the first time, I was like, ooh, I like that. I need that. Because I had dry, tried the drop spindle, I don't know, like two years ago, three years ago maybe. And I liked the drafting of the fiber. And I liked making the yarn, but it was so slow. It was just like, I cannot do this. Um, so when I saw her using the Nano and it was fast, I'm like, yeah. Um, 
but she's very um knowledgeable about spinning so i like watching her talk about spinning and i like watching um brenda bear she is so knowledgeable and she reads like all the books and i cannot bring myself to read informational books give me a book on fairies or vampires and i'll read it in a day doesn't matter 500 pages done read it in a day give me a textbook it's gonna take me it's never gonna be finished <laughs> I'll, I'll get through like a chapter maybe and then i'm just like uh so i really enjoy watching other people who are knowledgeable about the craft because it's easier for me to listen to them talk about it than for me to read it um and I've been watching uh, Jilly Ivy, I think her name is. She's so perky, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> so sometimes I'm like, mm. she's very, very, very knowledgeable about the craft. And I like watching her. But I have to take breaks because she's so happy. It's too much happiness. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, goals. Not buying yarn. I have succeeded. I have not bought any yarn as of right now. And I don't plan on it either. Like, I get the emails that everybody gets. And you know, there's like this button up in the corner that says select all. And you just push select all. And then you push delete. And it's all gone. You don't even have to open it. You don't even have to look at them. Nope. Not even just a little bit. So, that's what I have been doing lately. I've just been deleting. Um, saving for the spinning wheel, like I said. I'm leaning towards getting the EEW6 right now. Because of the bigger bobbin size. And it's a more reachable goal right now than saving up for the spinning wheel. So, I think I'm going to get that. And then restart my saving for my double treadle that I want to get. Um, collabs. I told you I was doing the working on the wing shawl with Bella. Um, I'm working on the pattern testing with Brenda. Um, I'm doing stash down 2023 that um, Bridget is running from Queen's Craft by Bridget. And my Bella blanket is my stash down project for January because it was done completely with yarn for my stash um i have upcoming collabs that i'm super excited um i'm gonna be doing a blanket with aaron again later on in this year um i have something planned with thris and uh mel we talked about maybe doing an amigurumi so that should be fun um yeah this year's really exciting already i got tons of friends i've made tons of friends on here and i love them all and i enjoy creating stuff with them um so next thing oh i am gonna be doing a giveaway soon not in this video people chill out hold the excitement <laughs> um but sometime in the month of february i will be doing a giveaway i'm not gonna be doing as much um donating to parties and stuff like I I like to do but I'm being selfish right now and saving for my wheel so giveaways and um donating to other people's parties and stuff I am pulling back I've cut down a lot of my memberships I've cut down on even like tv subscriptions and stuff like services like I'm I'm really really trying to get what I want to make the yarn I want. But I will be doing one giveaway this month. And it is going to be a spin with us uh, giveaway. I'm going to have a top whirl uh, spindle that I had found when I was looking for my stuff. Because um, I had bought a top whirl and a bottom whirl. And Mel wanted the bottom whirl. So I sent that to her. So I have a top whirl. And I'm not going to use it. So I might as well give it away. And I'll probably put some fiber in, you know, so you guys can attempt to spin. So that's coming up sometime in February. And then, um, 
I said the date. Um, and let's see, I have uh, Instagram and I have a Facebook group. If you guys want to show me what you guys are working on, I would love, love, love to see it. Um, mostly my Facebook group is just a very few people post, you know, what they're working on. Mostly my mom. <laughs> Cause she is such a fast crocheter and now she's knitting like crazy. She made a sweater in three days. She knitted a sweater in three days. Right? Mind blowing. Like my mom's amazing. Um, she's very talented. And she's fast. <laughs> You're fine, Victor. Um, let's see. What else? Anything else? So, breaking out my planner. <clears throat> Isn't it pretty? This was from uh, Crojo Corner. Laura. Laura? Laura? I'm sorry. But I like this planner. This planner is awesome. Um, I really want to get another one, though. That is spiral bound. I got this one off of Amazon. Um, I know she has her own website though. Where you can order. And I think she has some spiral bonds on there. I was looking a little while ago. Um, okay. So my January. I am checking off my Bella blanket. Because it's going to be done tonight. Um, I did start the wing shawl. I wish I had his energy. Then I would be fast at, you know, crocheting and knitting. Um, I made a sloth. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was super cute. Um, so I did that this month. I was supposed to do a Jack uh, skeleton again, and I did not get to it. Um, I don't have the yarn for it. And since I'm not buying yarn because I'm saving, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the Jack back until after I get my double treadle. But I, I still do plan on making it. Um, somebody had asked me to make them one, and I said yes. And so, there's that. So, um, I spun up my Paradise Fiber subscription. And in knitting, I worked on the sock pattern. So, for my February goals this month, I want to finish the sweater poncho that I'm doing for um, my brother's girlfriend. Um, I want to make a matching smaller one for uh, my brother's baby. And I want to do 25 rows on my wing shawl. That's all I got right now um, planned for crocheting. Of course, I'll probably add something else. I always do. I want to finish at least one of the socks um, that I'm doing the pattern testing on with Brenda. It's like really close to the heel right now. I'm like three inches away. So I think I should hopefully, you know, I should hopefully have it, the sock done by the end of February. Fingers crossed. Hoping. And I also, in spinning, I want to spin up my Paradise Fiber subscription when I get it. Um, I am looking at getting another fiber subscription but then again I'm like I just canceled so many subscriptions so I could save that it's kind of like you know should I should I not so I don't know I keep looking though um if you guys know of any subscriptions that are cool and you could recommend them to me put them down below I would love that um but yeah, I think that's it. I think I talked about everything that I was meant to. I'm sorry this video is so long. Um, hopefully uh, the next Friday's one won't be as long because, uh, like I said, I'm not buying stuff really to open. And that was always my Friday's video was an unboxing of some kind. And since I'm not doing that, I'm going to start talking about what I'm working on more or at least attempt to. But that is it for now. Was there anything else? Oh, one other thing. If you guys are still here. Yay, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys could, I have been doing this thing since I started 
um, getting on YouTube where I will type in a word of something I like, like enjoy, like crochet or spinning, and I type it in, and then I go over to the filter thing, and I type in, or I click the filter to uh, view count, low, and a uh, channel. And um, I will go through and anybody who has like really low numbers of subscribers, um, I'll subscribe to them and watch a video. Like if they're under 100 subscribers. And I think that's something that's cool like to try and do um, to encourage a smaller channel. Um, doesn't cost you anything like give them a like give them a subscribe you know subscribe leave a comment something positive and encouraging for them and then you go about your business like you know you never know you could find somebody new that you really enjoy um but yeah that is something I've been doing since I started YouTube and I have found a lot of awesome people out there and um, <laughs> my subscribe list you know the people that I've subscribed to is a lot and it's getting bigger because I'll do that probably once a month um I try to find five channels that have a smaller subscriber you know amount just you know brighten somebody's day up it's easy to do spread some positivity around it's fun it's nice it's exciting to see other people's creations anyway, so why not give somebody a little feel-good morale boost, right? Um, but on that, that is it. That is all I have got. You have seen everything I did in January. I'm sorry this video is so long again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you guys around. Bye, everybody.